Hello friends, welcome to jQuery video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand steps to use jQuery or how to use jQuery. In the previous video tutorials, we have already downloaded the jQuery file. We created one HTML document and then we linked the downloaded jQuery file to the created HTML document. The next step is to write the jQuery code and execute. In this video tutorial, we understand how to write the jQuery code and execute. So let's get started. I minimize the word. I right click on default.html open with the notepad. You can see that default.html is open in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to jQuery demo. We have already linked the jQuery file to our HTML document. Within the body section, we have written one HTML element that is h1. Within that, we have written heading1 text and we uniquely identified this h1 by giving an id heading1. I minimize the notepad. I right click on default.html open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html is open in the Chrome. Title is set to jQuery demo and heading1 text is displayed in the browser. What we are going to do in this video tutorial? We are going to understand how we can set 2px solid red border to this h1 element using jQuery. What code we are going to write? First, we are going to apply 2px solid red border to the h1 element using JavaScript. And then later, we are going to perform the same task using jQuery and understand the difference. Let me go to notepad. Below the h1 element, I am going to write opening script tag and closing script tag. And then I say here type equal to text or JavaScript. We know that type is equal to text or JavaScript indicates whatever we write in between the opening script and closing script tag is going to be a JavaScript code. How do we set 2px solid red border to this h1 element using JavaScript? We know that to target or select HTML elements in JavaScript, we take help of three different functions. Get element by ID, get elements by class name, get elements by tag name. We can target HTML elements either by their tag name or by their ID attribute value or by their class attribute value. Here, we need to target this HTML element using the ID attribute value. So, I say here document dot get element by ID. This is a function to that we pass the ID of the element. So, I copy and paste here. Then we say style dot border equal to 2px solid red double quotations semicolon. File save go to browser and refresh. You can see that 2px solid red border is applied to the heading 1. This is how we write the JavaScript code. We first get the element which has an ID heading 1. Then we apply the style border 2px solid red. The same thing we can do in jQuery also. I'm going to copy this code and paste down and I comment this code. Okay. Instead of calling different functions like get element by ID, get element by class name, get elements by tag name. In jQuery, we use only one function. We don't use different functions for targeting different elements by different ways. Here, instead of writing document dot get element by ID, we can just say jQuery jQuery is a function friends jQuery is a function we just call the jQuery function to this function we pass a CSS selector we can pass a class selector an ID selector a tag selector any of the CSS selector okay here I am going to give heading one ID before this text I say hash hash indicates ID selector in CSS we are telling to the jQuery Target or select any HTML element whose ID is set to heading 1. On this function, we call another function or we perform the action. We call here CSS function. This CSS function accepts two parameters. The first one is the property. So here I say border. I want to apply the border style. And then we give value 2px solid red. What this line of code does? This line of code targets the HTML elements whose ID attribute value is set to heading 1, in our case this one. 
sets the CSS style border to PX solid red. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that there is no change in the output. We still have 2px solid red border. We can write in another way. I am going to comment this line also. I copy this code and paste here. Instead of writing jQuery, we can simply write dollar. Dollar is the alias for jQuery. We can just write the dollar. This also does the same thing. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that still we are having 2px solid red border. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do we write uh, the jQuery code and set the 2px solid red border. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss each and every part of this instruction. We understand what is dollar, we understand what we have to write here and uh, what are the different types of functions or actions are available in jQuery. We understand everything in detail. In this video tutorial, we are just understanding how to write the jQuery code execute it. In JavaScript, we need three different functions to target HTML elements. Here, we can target any HTML element as much as specifically as we want in jQuery just by using one function called as jQuery or dollar. Okay, I hope you guys have clearly understood. I am going to delete these two lines of code. Okay, we need only this line of code to set the 2px solid red border to the heading one. File, save, go to browser and refresh. If you want, we can set the blue border. I can say here blue, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the border color is changed to blue. So for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we get more information. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.